My name is Julia Trigg Crawford and this is Red Ark Farm. This is the farm that my grandfather bought in 1948. Together we stand for private property rights, for the protection of indigenous artifacts, and for the preservation of our water resources. My job description is to be a good steward of this place and unless I fight with every op option I have and with every resource I can muster, I'm not doing my job. There were 12 eminent domain cases in this county alone, meaning there were 12 families who said no, we won't agree to what you plan on giving us in the easement, so they actually had to be condemned. That all happens behind closed doors, between a judge and I assume TransCanada. There are four other pipelines in the county, oil pipelines and natural gas pipelines, and they're relatively quiet and they're, they're a product that's been hauled for a long time and the industry knows how to contain it. You know, you look at what trans, happened to TransCanada, they obviously don't know how to handle this stuff with 14 leaks in, you know, 14, 15 months. They have not done a very good job in documenting they can control it, and I don't want it on my place because I don't want them experimenting with my place in my water. They plan to horizontally drill under the creek where I have uh, water rights to irrigate the farm, so that, that compromises my water. The area is just laden with indigenous artifacts, so any kind of trenching or heavy digging could destroy things that you cannot put a dollar value on. I do believe I can make a difference. A year ago, they said it was folly that we tried to stop the presidential permit, and we did. Every time you win when someone else says you're going to lose, you stand a little taller. And I'm six feet now, I'm 6'2 today, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident.